look at this, his average, almost 51 runs. With 15, 50 strike rate, is, uh, he's picking up his strike rate, even as a skipper, since he became the captain. Skipper is off the mark, easy. Umad, Asif and uh, Amir Yameen. Call is for two. This probably will race away to the boundary. Two overs gone, ten for none. I mean, if you put him in two minds, obviously he's going to struggle. In my opinion, he to just play his game, even at number three. Doesn't matter, he's a natural opener, but if he comes at number three, especially in first six overs, his job should be to play shots. And obviously that doesn't mean play slog. Tepano. He will attack this time. That Babar Azam has been so good in T20 cricket, white ball cricket. Oh, that's gone through. How it went through, nobody will know. But a beautiful straight drive, which should have been maybe one, has gone to the fence. What a shot. Straight as an arrow from Babar ba Azam. And it's yours, yours, yours. Missed by both. Awesome. You know what we would say in Urdu for this particular field? Sui me dhaga dala That's right. So fine leg is up, third man is up, Medon gone back on the boundary and man in just from just front of square. He's got shot to any angle, every length picks up the field. Or the angle in the field that's nicely played away into the fence. 35 for one. Quick single. Good running by Babur Razam. He's got such a safe game. People wonder why he is averaging so high in T20. Caught behind. Big shot down the ground. It's a fast outfield and will go and hit the fence in no time. Excellent batting. Really impressive stuff from Heather Ali. In fact, it's Babar. Make sure he got to the pitch, Babar Azam. Just closed the face so the ball didn't go straight back at Tendai Chisoro. Maneuvering it into uh, the right hand side of Chisoro, his weaker side. Keeps it simple. Comparative scores. Pakistan 51 for one. Zimbabwe 52. The difference is that wickets column. Three wickets down at this stage for Zimbabwe. And that's exactly what has uh, been pulling them back. He plays that shot particularly well, going straight and over long on. Not the best of deliveries here, but. How impressive has this youngster been coming up the ranks from the PSL? Impressed us all there. We played for Pakistan, previous World Cup this year, and then of course PSL. He performed, played some good innings, then made his debut against England, got 50 straight away. Abrazam, 24 of 13, strike rate of 184. Improving day by day. Another good shot. There's a fielder there, no chance. Another boundary to Pakistani skipper. He's on 28 now, 14. Lovely timing, lovely hands through the ball. It wasn't too wide, but he gave himself room and timed it to perfection. Yeah, I think so. They've uh, stayed is set. They both are well set. One is on 42. Babar Azam is on uh, 28. And uh, partnership is building up. 68 of 47 now between these two. 
It's only a matter of time. Just play normal cricket. Play your shots. Field is well spread. Went into the night. Misfield. Another boundary. Sloppy ground fielding once again. Barber times it exquisitely. Not having the best of outings is that the Zimbabwean captain just threw his hands, didn't get down in time. Oh, he's got a hold of that, hasn't he? It's another massive hit. Gloriously timed off, pinged off Barber's bat. Three sixes now. Here we go, shot. And right into the arc. Easy pickings for a man in form, Barbara Azam. 90 meters, another big shot. It's his ability to create shots like this. It's Barbara Azam. Terrific track record in T20 cricket. It's got to be applauded for sort of, in a way, mistiming that one and still finding the fence there. He had to bend low to... Who would you rather spend the most time with at the crease? It's got to be Baba Razam in the Pakistan lineup. Opens the face, guides that down. It's going to go fine of uh, Donald Tirupano at third man. It brings up another half century for uh, the Pakistan captain, his 16th in this format of the game brings up the hundred partnership as well between these two and uh, they are steering pakistan to a victory that's such a good touch that is subtle and beautifully played that's gone up in the air and beautifully held what a good catch that is Chicken Bura there doing extremely well to get around that one. I think he got just a little bit surprised by that extra lift from Blessing Muzurabani. It's a top edge. It's gone fine of Alton Chugumbara at fine leg. That's a run in a wrong way. It'll be coming out of the lights and he's judged it to perfection. Out is the call. For Zimbabwe brought in to try and get the bake through. 